Do you know how to factor a quadratic expression? Well, that's a very good question. First, let's review what we mean when we say a quadratic expression. You can't factor one if you don't know how to identify it. Here's an example of a quadratic expression. Let's say we have x squared minus 2x minus 24. Now notice that this quadratic expression has three terms. It has a squared term in the beginning, it has an x term in the middle, and it has a constant. These three terms together make up a quadratic expression. Now we want to factor this quadratic expression. What do you mean by factor? Well, that's a very good question. When we're talking about factoring with quadratic expressions, we're talking about breaking them down. We want to break down a quadratic expression into smaller parts. Let's look at that quadratic expression again. We have x squared minus 2x minus 24. Now I want to break down this quadratic expression into two binomials. So let's put two sets of parentheses here because I know I want to break it down into two binomials. And now I'm going to break down each term piece by piece. The first one's easy. x squared breaks down to x and x. Now the second and the third terms are tricky. I have a negative 2x and I have a negative 24. We want two terms or two values that add together to give us the second term add together to give us the second term but that multiply together to give us the third. So let's think about it. What two numbers could multiply together to give 24? Well, we could have 12 times 2. We could have 6 times 4. We could have 8 times 3. 12 times 2 multiplies together to give us 24, but it doesn't add together to give us negative 2. That won't work. 6 times 4 multiplies together to give us 24, and it could add together to give us negative 2 if this was a negative and this was a positive. So this is a possible. Let's look at the last one, 8 times 3. 8 times 3 can give us 24, but 8 plus 3, no matter how we put the negatives, it can't give us negative 2. So the, this is our answer, negative 6 and 4. Now we're going to put them in. Let's put a negative 6 in, and let's put a positive 4 in. Now if we want to check our work, we can go ahead and use FOIL to multiply, to multiply the two binomials. If we end up with what we started with, then we know our work is accurate. x times x gives me x squared x times 4 gives me positive 4x. Negative 6 times x gives me negative 6x. Negative 6 times 4 gives me a negative 24. Combine like terms and I get x squared minus 2x minus 24. This is my answer and my work is now complete.